Nice one. So uh, you're getting ready for your tour. Uh, a lot of people are using these tech bindings or pin bindings. And uh, I'd like to show you a nice easy routine. It sort of makes things, I like to make things easy for myself. People are naturally lazy. So if you can get a routine that works, but it still covers all the points, it's going to be ideal. So with tech bindings, it can be a bit frustrating if you've come from normal bindings. But we're going to show you a few tricks and tips to uh, make it easy to get in and out of those bindings. So the first of all, like most things, it's good to start from a nice controlled platform. So find a good place to lay down the skis, getting ready to go into them. It's always easier if there is a slight slope, if there's a small angle on the, on the terrain, to put the downhill ski on first. So you'll notice I don't have my pack on. I'll explain that in a minute. When you get set up, the ski should be nice and flat. Ideally, you might need to actually stamp it into, into the terrain or into the snow to make sure it's on a nice platform. And ideally, it hasn't got a big hole underneath the snow. Nice and secure. A bit of a cleaning of the boot. I'll have my, the boot I'm standing on between the skis so I'm as above, straight above the ski as possible. I may clean this binding at the front by snapping it up and down a few times and that may help to clear any snow that's underneath the spring. And then I'll place the toe just lightly where it should be with the heel up and gently push down and have the pins engage. And then I'll pivot a few times before snapping the heel down Give it a few stamps to make sure it's engaged and that one's good to go. Always putting the downhill ski on first because it makes it much easier to put the second one on. Give this binding a few clicks and then lining up the toe, gently pushing down, a few pivots and then in. They're nice and secure. I put my pack on last just to make sure if I do get stuck, if I'm bending up and down, it's a lot more work. So, last thing. The pack's on, and I'm ready to go. So sometimes you'll be on a, a steep surface that has very hard snow or even ice, and you want to try and get into your skis. You can't dig them in very easily. What you can do, even with the angle that they are on, is actually hook in the downhill edge if you can a little bit. Usually that's possible. And again, we're going to put the downhill ski on first. But I'll place a pole in down below the downhill edge so it doesn't run away. And this time you'll need to angle your foot, your ankle, uh, the same as the ski to get the both pins trying to line up carefully. Everything's done, but at an angle, so on the pivot, perpendicular to the snow surface. Once that one's in, you can ideally have this hard controlled edge, and then you can work on the uphill ski. And then your edges are far more useful. 